love you all. You're beautiful. And never forget that everyone is a princess. So pick me, choose me, love me. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Kenzo is back again. I've been on a roll here, uh, but I do have, you know, a few new boxes to open. And I know there hasn't been too many people that have opened these things up for you. So I figured I'd uh, go ahead and round it out and get rasta completed for you so here we go now we have got our front again great display looks like we have two extra hands we've got our little ice effect here for her punch or whatever it is coming off her hand we've got her little soft goods on the back with her cape and then we've got her little fan thingy and of course we know that We'll try it out once we get her opened up that her hair is color changing. So that's pretty cool. But the outfit's cool. The figure's cool. It's nice to see more female figures. Because when you look about look at it back in the day, all we had was two, right? We had, or well, three, I guess. But I don't think I ever could afford or ever got Sorceress. So I only had Tila and Eva Lynn back in the day. So anyway, so okay, here we go. We've got, moving over to that side box art. Awesome as always. She's got a little frozen He-Man in her hand there. Yeah, look at her. A little obsessed, didn't she? And going to the back. I'm actually going to go ahead and get my uh, buddy Miles Austin to come over here and read this for us. Be so, right back. Hello, everybody. We're reading about Frosta. From within her stronghold of Castle Chill, Frosta rules as Queen Mackenzie of the kingdom of snows high in Ethereum's northern mountains. Though preceded by her reputation as Ethereum's ice empress, Frosta is a kind, loyal, and benevolent ruler, strong both of will and power. She brought peace to her kingdom and became one of Shira's most powerful allies. Thanks for listening. Okay, all right. Thank you, uh, Miles. <laughs> All right, um, read the box, took a look at the pictures. We're good to go. So I'm gonna get her out and we'll take a look at the features. For me, I really like corn. What do you like about corn? It's cold. go we have frosta out of the box take a look We've got our two extra hands a little more open maybe doing a little bit of a you know point or two We've got her weapons of course this one just fits right on pretty easily and it goes in with that little piece there i don't know if you can see it on the camera but it does have a pretty cool shimmer to it so does her gauntlets here, and I think the same goes for a lot of the theme. Like the Shira's got that as well. Um, good head sculpt, cool outfit, and to the leggings there. Got her soft goods, and of course the hair. You've got this particular thing. So I brought out from hot and cold. Um, and we'll see, I guess. I don't know how much you have to do it here. Let's see what the cold does. Okay. Let's get a little darker. What I'm curious to see. Let me go ahead and pop her head off real quick. And let's just take a look here. Let's do a little side by side. It's comparison time. Just kidding. All right, cold water. Mm. 
Okay, so here's our ice cold. Our blue. Then we'll go into the hot. Yeah, we got our clear. It's not a huge difference, but you know, it's not like some of my kids uh Lightning McQueen color changers, but it's cool nonetheless. I mean that's definitely a feature that we haven't seen on any of these yet. I mean we've seen the glow in the dark, but we have not seen the hot cold change. Let me muck this all up here, aren't I? Yeah, I can definitely tell when that cold hits it. Darkens it up. All right, all right. So that is my <laughs> little tester, and it was successful. Way to go. Of course, this gives you an opportunity to see the uh, cape does have the little ring around the neck. I believe the one, the smaller version of the cape with She-Ra has that too around the neck like that. All right, so that was uh, interesting nonetheless. And I believe this is a, <gasps> nope, not a blower. <laughs> Goes the other way. That's funny that I did on camera. That sounded stupid. Okay, so now we've got the, that uh, little wind blower there, right? It's supposed to be cold as ice and then blows the wind and freezes everyone, right? Good looking head sculpt. Um, the paint apps are really good. She's a little bit blushy there. She's probably thinking about He-Man just a little bit. So she's, uh, yeah, no, it's good looking. And I'm putting her over, wrong side, I'm putting her over on this side. With She-Ra, here's your uh, current Princess of Power Masterverse figures. Pretty cool. Of course, I 3D printed the chair for Hordak to sit in. And it came out pretty cool. It was, uh, I, print it, I think I printed in maybe three, four different pieces, but it came out pretty good. So, not much talking on this one, yeah. So I didn't yap too much, so you guys just got an idea of what this stuff looked like, which is probably better for you, because you didn't have to listen to it. But, um, enjoyed opening these tonight. Um, I'm going to save. Roboto will be done on a live on Instagram, so stay tuned for that. Myself and Collecting Classics will open up our Robotos together and should be a fun time and i hope you all enjoy and hope you all enjoyed this so for the youtube channel most likely this might be the last one of the week but we'll see you never know i got some more stuff i might open up who knows i'm having fun today my back has been you know not having fun so i figure i try to do this to distract myself a little bit but anywho so hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you on the next one. Good night, everybody. You know, I mean, who wants to look, you know, simple when you can look stunning? Make it, make it, make that pistol pop.